let's take a brief look at the anatomical structures considered during the development of Sager emergency traction splints. A careful examination of the human pelvis reveals that the ischial tuberosities are located half the distance between the lateral femoral shafts and the central symphysis pubis. A lateral supine x-ray view of the supine human pelvis reveals that the ischial tuberosities protrude no more than one to two centimeters below the femoral shaft. This cross-section number 21 of a CAT scan survey of an adult male provides a more dramatic view of how the ischial tuberosity as a structure is medial to the shaft of the femur. It protrudes at most one to two centimeters below the level of the shaft of the femur. It is obvious that any attempt to place an ischial pad up against the ischial tuberosity in order to apply pressure against the ischial tuberosity is tenuous at best. More often than not, the ischial pad will either slip off the ischial tuberosity, resulting in a sudden loss of counter-traction, or push up on the femoral shaft and intervening structures. The most important of these nerves, arteries, veins, and tissue is the sciatic nerve, which lies just below the medial edge of the femur. This is why many orthopedic specialists are concerned about counter-traction against the ischial tuberosity from under the shaft of the femur. Let's take a look at an intertrochanteric femoral fracture with a hair splint in place with rope, 15 pounds weight and pulley for traction. The drum and traction knob have been replaced with a 15 pound weight and pulley to ensure that the force used is the same with both sager and hair. Note how the femur is pushed up into malalignment. Now let's take a look at an intertrochanteric fracture with a Sager emergency traction splint in place. With 15 pounds traction, near perfect alignment of the fracture occurs and, as importantly, pressure on the critical structures below the femoral shaft is absent. The Sager ischial perineal cushion with its revolutionary articulating base simulates the function of a Thomas full ring splint without the encumbrance of a full ring. It provides counter traction against the ischial tuberosity medial to the shaft of the femur. The Sager eliminates pressure against the femur or any of its related structures. Alignment and traction is the same as that provided in a hospital operating room during open or closed reduction of fractured femurs. This survey radiograph of a CAT scan of a pelvis and upper thigh of an adult male clearly demonstrates that male genitalia is not interposed between Sager's ischial perineal cushion and the ischial tuberosity. Sager emergency traction splints are indicated in 93% of all femoral fractures. This includes both proximal third fractures and mid-shaft fractures. Ischial pad traction splints are contraindicated in the treatment of all proximal third fractures and thus are only indicated in 9% of all femoral fractures. Sager emergency traction splints are the only traction splints available on the world market today to continuously show the exact amount of traction being applied. Besides being quantifiable, the traction is dynamic. The dynamic function permits the traction to decrease as the spasm releases. You always have the correct amount of safe traction.